Hello, everybody. Hope you are safe and sound and everything is OK. I'm Raja Lanto, uh, coming from Technical Research Center of Finland, so VTT. And now I'm going to give you a short uh, introduction to, to our InnoFood Africa project. So please give me a couple of seconds and I share the slide presentation with you. InnoFood Africa is a research and innovation action project implemented in, in cooperation with European and African partners and it is funded by, by the European Commission and its framework called Horizon 2020. We have altogether 18 partners, of which 13 uh, come from uh, four African countries and uh, five European partners. And all these partners, they, uh, they are either research and technology organizations, universities, non-governmental organizations or private companies. Uh, the duration of, uh, of InnoFood Africa project is uh, at the moment or is planned to be three years, but we have applied um, six months extension from the Commission due to the challenges we have faced because of the prevailing COVID-19 uh, situation. The total uh, European uh, Commission funding for the project is 6.5 million euros. Uh, our consortium is shown here. So uh, from Africa, we have partners from Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia and South Africa. And uh, from South Africa, we have um, uh, University of Pretoria and also uh, Delphus Technologies, which is a company that develops um, uh, technologies for food processing um, equipment. And then from uh, Europe, we have Nofima coming from Norway, VTT together with Helsinki University from Finland, Puratos, which is a big food company from Belgium, and um, Lancet du Dacro and INRA, which are sort of a combined research organization um, coming from France. Here you can see um, the consortium a little bit more in detail and um, their main expertises that are used or utilized in the Innovative Africa project. I don't run you through uh, the slide. I only wish to sort of uh, emphasize that the expertise is uh, we use uh, in, in the Food Africa project are food and biomass technologies, technology and processing expertise, agricultural expertise, dietary and nutrition knowledge and expertise, and also consumer business value chain and social sciences expertise. In the Food Africa project um, aims at creating uh, new value chains, new business models in order to produce and distribute healthy foods and food ingredients and also biopackaging materials from um, uh, crop side streams. And these value chains cover uh, the, the whole agri-food chain, starting from farms, ending up to local and national and export markets. And from the export markets, we are particularly heading towards Europe. InnoFood Africa demonstrates um, the potential, particularly of indigenous traditional African crops like bambara groundnut, cowpea, uh, sweet potato, millet, sorghum, teff, faba bean, banana, and so forth. 
And uh, from these crops, healthy food and food ingredients are developed for uh, combating, uh, combating against malnutrition of infants, small children, and pregnant, pregnant women. And also adults, uh, particularly in urban areas that are under risk of uh, overweight or obesity. The project develops technologies and methods solidly sort of combined with capacity building, communication and uh, business and value chain creation uh, together to improve uh, farming practices of fields, nutrition and diets, uh, to produce healthy ingredients and foodstuffs, and also uh, biopackaging materials. InnoFood project is, um, is implemented in eight separate work packages. Uh, work package one concentrates on, on business creation, value chain analysis, also consumer market studies. Work package two is about nutrition and diet rec recommendation. And they are also um, uh, uh, sort of developed to, to support uh, healthy food development in work package four. Work package three is about um, smallholder farming practices, so improving the, the practices, and it is done particularly by uh, so-called participatory uh, farm research, so that farmers are really uh, engaged uh, to, to improve their own practices. And the support is, of course, given to them along, along the research. Work package five is about uh, converting, uh, as I said, uh, these crop side streams to biopackaging materials that can be used for for local locally for improving food safety and preservation, and it is of course about reducing agro food loss as well. Work package six uh, concentrates or focused focuses on communication, dissemination, exploitation. And all in all, in creating awareness of the project outcomes, it, it, it establishes also a so-called innovation platform that is a digital system to engage various stakeholders along the value chain so that they can easily or most easily adopt the technologies and knowledge and practices that are developed in the project. And uh, they can also um, on this innovation platform uh, create international and national collaboration networks and um, sort of um, get themselves um, a certain kind of visibility. Work package seven is of course um, coordination, quality assurance, risk monitoring and risk mitigation issues. And finally work package eight is is to engage and to support every consortium partner to respect and comply ethical and open science open data principles the innerfood impact pathway is shown here it is distributed to to four different entities starting from approach, going via implementation results to impacts. And our approach is, as said already before, is um, European, African, multidisciplinary uh, collaboration. And it is also a participatory approach that is um, that is um, sort of practiced with uh, local actors there, local value chain actors. We have four countries, African countries involved, as mentioned already. And everything uh, we do is um, 
is is sort of focusing on innovative and sustainable use of uh, climate smart, climate resilient indigenous crops. Uh, methodologies we we use during the project are listed here, and the results we expect to get are also shown here. So um, we evaluate um, two business models, two value chains per each African country. We create two complementary food-based dietary guidelines and recommendations per African country. We pilot um, this participatory uh, <clears throat> farm research and uh, combined trainings all together in, in 10 sites in these um, African countries. We develop uh, food ingredients and food products. We pilot um, two bio-based um, sort of um, plastic type of materials that can be used, for example, in packagings, food packagings. <clears throat> we train value chain actors comprehensively and also trainers to give training to value chain actors. And then uh, we promote and create um, this uh, international innovation platform and hope to get uh, various types and powerful uh, outcomes from there. And the impact um, in the end or even beyond the end of the, the project completion are new uh, business models of value chains that uh, have a dedicated and in, engaged largely value chain actors so that these models are already running and in, in, in force. Uh, we have um, such solutions to fight malnutrition in er certain urban areas in, in these African countries that are already adopted into use. Uh, we have uh, local actors you have been, uh, who have been empowered by, uh, by, by the practices, trainings and outcomes of the project. And we can see that international cooperation, whether it is among African countries on African continent or with African countries beyond the African continent, but we can already see that these international cooperations have been increased and they are, they are ongoing. So this is more or less uh, what I wanted to say at this phase, a very short recap, and it was my role to, to, to give it. And thank you very much for, for listening to me. And now, now I give floor to, to our uh, real experts that will give you, I'm sure, uh, very, very comprehensive and interesting um, presentations about more detail detailed aspects about activities that are going on in this project. So thank you very much and nice and uh, productive, fruitful uh, webinar to all of you. So thank you again and goodbye.